Hello ladies and gentlemen, and the Nintendo NX finally has a name. Um, this is this is something that's been speculated on the internet for months and months and months and months. And just earlier this week, we heard news that Nintendo was going to announce something about the Nintendo NX this week. And no joke, like a day or two ago... I think it may have been yesterday, which the day that I'm recording this, that would have been a Wednesday. Rich from Review Tech USA came out and said, oh, well, they haven't announced anything yet, so it's clearly not happening this week. Me personally, I wanted to wait until the end of the week. And it being Thursday, Nintendo announced the official name for the Nintendo NX. It is the Nintendo Switch. Is it a fascinating name no <clears throat> it's actually a quite boring name a very boring name whenever I first heard it I was actually talking to the assistant manager at the local GameStop because I had to go um, I got a copy of Smash Bros for the Wii U but my copy didn't work so I just took it to this GameStop and he was able to just switch the disc out um, but that's besides the point he told me about the name and I, the first thought I had was that is a terrible name. Um, but of course, I reserved judgment until I got back home, watched the trailer, uh, well, the first look at the Nintendo Switch. Now, <clears throat> the name is not that exciting. And I do think the Nintendo NX is going to be just a bit too expensive for the market that they want to try to hit. But whenever I look at the ad... I see a lot of stuff that's actually really cool. The ability to just take this tablet and then pick it up, snap these controllers on the side, similar to what the uh, Razer, oh, what was it called? Or was it the NVIDIA Shield tablet? Some One of those companies, I think Razer made something like that and NVIDIA made something like that, which was this huge tablet that was basically a PC that you could just slap these controller uh, attachments on the side to. Of course, that tablet, those tablets were like $1,400. But it's a very unique idea, especially considering it looks to be very, very small. It looks to be maybe a bit smaller than the Wii U gamepad. It looks like the triggers are more ergonomic. They're still not analog, mind you. That could change, but they're still not analog at this point in time. But just in the tablet uh, portability mode, it's a very interesting system, especially considering it's powered by the NVIDIA Tegra chip, and apparently they are targeting 900p 60fps for the mobile versions of games. And you might be going, 900p, that's still not 1080p. Whenever you compare the 900p of that to the resolution of the 3DS, you will realize how big of a jump that is. Um, I don't remember the resolution of the 3DS, but you can go ahead and just look that up and you realize very quickly, oh shit, that's a massive jump. But, also, Nintendo has done something right. This, this excites me. So, on the controller, you have those controller attachments that you can take off, and it looks like they're going to give you a dock so that you can just connect the controller, those attachment controllers to this dock and you get client kind of like a more ergonomic more modern controller like an xbox one controller but it also looks like they're going to sell like a pro controller which is straight up looks like an xbox controller no joke straight up looks like an xbox controller this console does not look like it's targeted towards kids but let me tell you something if i had kids and i could only have one console in my house I'm not buying a PS4, I'm not buying an Xbox, I would buy this. Because looking at the partners that Nintendo has for the Switch, and yes, they had a lot of partners for the Wii U, but I feel that the Switch is going to be different. Just from this ad campaign, I can see they look like they've learned their lessons. Now, would I like them to push the release date for the NX, the, the Switch back just to build a bit more hype for it? Absolutely, but if they keep releasing ads like the one they just showed today, I think the, the that the Switch has a legitimate shot. So some of the partners, 
Bethesda. There was a version of Skyrim running on the Switch, theoretically. And it was mobile and home. That would be... I'm not going to lie. I would pay for an NX just for the ability to play games like Skyrim on the go and at home and not have to change anything. Um, Activision is on board. 505 Games, Atlas, Bandai Namco, Capcom, Koei Tecmo, Konami, Level 5, Maximum Games, Warner Brothers, Ubisoft, Telltale Games, uh, Epic, just Take-Two Interactive. Imagine if Take-Two Interactive got Red Dead Redemption 2 to be released on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not going to lie. I would probably buy it on the Nintendo Switch just for the ability to play it at home and on the go. Because trust me, there's a lot of times in my life now where I am on the go just as much as I am at home. And being able to just take this cartridge-based system, which, yes, it uses cartridges. There's so much to learn from this ad that it's just mind-boggling. It has me so intrigued. And trust me, go back and watch some of my other videos about the Nintendo NX. I've been very critical of it. Am I, am I getting a little caught up in the hype for a second? A little bit. I will admit it. I'm going to try to keep a bit of a cynical mind about this, but I really think this ad from Nintendo was really good. I think they should try to, you know, cut this down into like a 40 second ad and play it on television, play it on big network TV, play it on, there's a, there's a portion where they're playing one of the NBA 2K games. Put that on ESPN. Put that on Fox Sports. There's so much they could do to really make sure this appeals to the broadest market as possible because if they get the third-party developers on board and get third-party support to the same level Microsoft and Sony have third-party support, it's over. Because honestly, in my mind, Nintendo has the best first-party developers. I love Nintendo titles. Do, do they mess up every now and again? Absolutely. But for the most part, I really think the Nintendo Switch is their last shot. And if they mess this up, odds are it's over for them. So I'm really, really, really excited to see what Nintendo does with this. With this, I want them to keep announcing stuff. I want them to do a Nintendo Direct closer to the launch date of the of the Switch and just start going, here's all the games that are going to be here at launch. Here's all the games that are coming out in the following weeks. Here's all the, here's all the features of these games. Here's all this information that you want about it. I really think if Nintendo did a Nintendo Direct where they just straight talked about the Switch for 30 minutes... It, it could possibly change everybody's thought process on the company. I really want the, want the Switch to succeed. But part of me still believes it's going to fail horribly. Maybe that's just the idea I have after the Wii U. But Nintendo could always rise, rise like a phoenix, you know? I'm not going to um, count them out of it just yet. 